Alright, so it looks like we're back at it again. So first off, let me explain. I've been getting so many requests for a Spanish guitar video. It's not even funny. So I put out a loop kit, Capricorn Volume 1, that actually had a guitar loop in it. I really, really liked it. So I was going to break down that one. Hey, also, shout out to my man Ringtone for securing us a spot on Patrick CC's next album. Go follow him on IG. He's the GOAT. So yeah, let's go and get into that. So to start off, we got this guitar. It's the Alia Nylon guitar. If y'all are gonna invest in one acoustic guitar bank, I 100,000% recommend get the Alia Nylon guitar. It's worth every single penny. Easily the best sounding acoustic guitar I've ever heard in my life. So yeah, that pattern just kind of goes like this. All right, so why the make kind of seem complex? Let me just break it down and show y'all it's really not. So let me just start by just deleting this and building a whole new pattern that's really similar. So the key that we're working in is E minor and I go to helper, scale highlighting, and then like minor natural. So if I build a triad, one, two, three, and this is gonna be in thirds, so I just kind of move it over. So let me just paste that over, one, two, three. All right, and this is not what you want it to sound like. So let me just select all that and then let me drag it out like that do control C, control B. What I do is I just pitch it up five, one, two, three, four, five, or you can pitch it down five. Control C, control B, copy all that over. So at this point, I'm gonna just pitch all this down and then I'm gonna pitch this up. And then after that is literally just putting accents in. So I did another tutorial really similar to this where I use the same method, except it's just piano. Let me just start kind of pitching in notes. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I want it to go. And then what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna use a chopper and chop it just like that. And then I'm gonna go down here to the velocities, fade that in. Paste it over, paste it over again. And then I'm gonna pitch it down here and then pitch this bottom half up. So to add the final touches on this, I'm just gonna go out R, randomize the crap out of this thing, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna do out X like that. So that's like a really similar version of the pattern I just made. I added ROM first of all. ROM is basically a really underrated plugin by Native Instruments. It's like a creative reverb plugin. It's like guitar rig. So the preset I use was Ghostly Resonant. It's the preset I use the most. And if I turn it all the way up, kind of sounds like this. So like a really wavy detune reverb. So I wanted like a little bit of that. So I put it at like 25, you know what I'm saying? Then I had an ambience on that. Went over to the shape section, turned the size all the way down, turned the wet down and turned the dry up. This is a free plugin. I use it all the time. Add in an EQ to really kind of like make it more clear. And then an RC20. Click this to go to 7.5, turn the follow up just a little bit because I want it to kind of duck in the background a little bit. I put the wild flutter about right there because I wanted that detune, but I didn't want too much of it. And I jacked the rate up a lot. I left the magnetic alone. I wanted those volume ducks, but I didn't want it like too much. And then I had like the distortion on. Just to kind of like push up the mid to make it have more um, of the vintage feel. So after that, you know, we got the slap sound. Anyway, this is from Ample Guitar Light. This is a free plugin. It has all these really cool sounds and stuff in it. For that slap, I just EQ'd it a little bit and then added a reverb. So after that, we got a pad from Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. It was the Old Chapel one. What I did was I rendered it out, pitched up this section right here, five semitones to match the root notes of the guitar. But that I didn't really do anything except for just brick wall EQ the low end out of it. Just to kind of fill everything in, I had these low notes from Noor. It's a dark piano right here. For that piano, took a little bit of the highs out and then added a ROM on it, the ghostly resonance preset. So after that, we had the violin.
it's got the same really fire vibrato that like the Balkan ethnic violin has, but it doesn't have like such a distinctive sound. You can use it way more often and get away with it without being called out for like, oh yeah, we use Balkan the orchestra, man. So that's fire. So for the violin, I just had a fruity reverb and then I had a ROM. So finally, last thing in the whole sample, just the bird texture. Put some reverb on it. Just had an EQ to take out all the low end. This is from Kendo Band's One Shot Kit, by the way. Uh, Indigo. So yeah, finally I just exported everything. And what I've been doing to all my samples recently is putting fresh air on it, turn up the mid and high a little bit. It's like a fancy EQ. It makes it sound more um, crisp. It really starts to bring in more of that fuzz to really kind of complete the vintage feel. So yeah, I just threw some drums on that. had a rim shot in there so with these hi-hats i really like to be dramatic and go really really low with them The only secret you need to know is start really repetitive and make minor switch ups. I just copied this over here and here and here. And then I just kind of went through and made some, some minor change ups. Like right here, I filled this in here. I messed with this right here. And then I really messed with the velocities, you know what I'm saying? Put in effect tricks, just a reverse, and then a couple of vinyls. So I wanted it to like stop and then pick up again. Added a fresh air, because I want my hi-hats to be really crispy. EQ, and then a reverb. Just added a crash. And then these 808s. Really simple 808 pattern. So y'all notice I really left space for the artist here. So often I'll just have it hit and then I'll just wait. And then right here, I'll pick up again. So y'all really gotta be leaving space. And then I just had an open hat. So yeah, that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can make Spanish beats. Some Spanish influenced Q beats, emotional, orchestral, young thug, little key, type loop, 2021, free for profit. Anyway, please consider subscribing. You know what I'm saying? I really, really appreciate it. I upload every Sunday. So yeah. Oh, y'all thought I was gonna do the snap, huh? Nah, we're not playing that game today. Psych. <laughs>